Can't help the feeling That there's someone else loving you better than I do If she only knew How you treat me so bad But you love me so good Man, I can't seem to let What's well, going on? My name is Kevin Kili, and you are tuned in to the Q&A session with you on my Sunday. Let's get into it. No one else to love, no one else to love, no one else to love but you. Stage name is inspired by Shaka Khan. Um, I'm a big fan of Shaka Khan. I love what she stands for. I love her music. And I can only dream of having that much impact with my own music. And Kali is derived from um, the Hindu goddess Kalima. And she stands for fearlessness, sexuality, creativity. And those are the things I wish to embody in my music. And I recently found out that Khan means leader. And... In my life, I, I really want to embody those things and I want to lead with love, with creativity, and with purpose. So, hence, then it be. Let me sip from your face. my debut EP. I'm really excited about it. And um, making it was such a beautiful process, you know. And, and I got to work with um, the legendary. PHOX, you know, that doesn't happen every day, so I'm pretty grateful for that. Um, making the EP was such a beautiful experience, and what I loved about it was like I didn't really have to explain too much about what was going on, what the ideas I had. I explained to PH what I wanted to do with the project, and he immediately just like caught on, and we started working. I think we probably made like uh, a, we made a song the first day we met. So that was really, really cool. We met Monday, the first day we met. So pretty awesome stuff. You should check it out. You should check it out. Pittsville is a place in my mind. Pittsville is a place and a name I've given to my depressive state. Um, it's quite heavy talking about it because Pittsville forced me to, 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 to face my own emotions and... and feelings I had about myself and my views and about life so it's really reflective of where I was at, at one point in time so it's a very it's a very special project to me very very special it's dope as fuck first of all it's fucking dope I, I'd like to believe it's dope and it's real it's honest and i think it's really different i don't think i've ever heard anyone make music like me and i've never heard anyone sound like me so that's pretty cool and it comes from an honest place and the way i designed the music is to align my own chakras and and, and, and cleanse my own spirit so anyone who listens to it engages in a, in a, in a form of healing with themselves and and you heal yourself while listening to some dope ass music. Who wouldn't want that? I can't seem to let you go. The 19 and the lockdown has taught me that there's more to life than what's in my head. And what's in my head can become reality. So I've, I've it's really taught me to be mindful of my thoughts. And 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 I learned that I can make the most of any situation. And I'm pretty creative and I'm pretty smart and I can't believe it took a global pandemic, a plague, if you will, for me to realize my, my abilities. Crazy, no? I don't really have one. I don't have a favorite genre. I have a playlist that I live by. I listen to alternative rock, indie music, deep house. I love deep house. Soul, R&B, funk, reggae, dancehall, love dancehall. And those genres shape the way I write my music. So I pick and I pick and choose from each genre and just make it into one. Mush, mush, delicious song. <laughs> I destroy racism, bigotry, 
homophobia and sexism because i feel like the world would be such a better place without it and i'd make the world a more compassionate place i feel like humanity lacks compassion especially in a time like this this is a time where we need to support each other stand by each other and offer support as much as we can i mean the only way we can really stay connected if you really think about it is, is in spirit because we can't physically be in the same room so i think i think more compassion more compassion Definitely more compassion so i have three beautiful bunnies their names are nimza shimza and glenda those are my babies those are my world uh, my nieces and nephews are my world they mean the world to me and and, and they they motivate me to become a better person without them i don't know where i'd be love you guys bad breath liars and lions and disrespect liars Yo. I'm number one on Billboard. Duh. Platinum albums, running a couple of movies, writing film scores, writing films, um, fashion empire. Just a life of bad history because why not? <laughs> Here's about your talent. Everyone just wants to see your boobs. No one. It's really hard breaking into a market where. There are fractions and sections and and, and and there's boundaries. I feel like I feel like we're in a country where women are allowed to celebrate themselves and express themselves in the way they choose to. There's always a there, there was a guideline, and now now breaking into a mold like that or, or breaking out of a mold, if you will, is is a lot harder than I expected it to be. I knew it was going to be hard, but I didn't expect it would be like this. We'll see what happens. Hopefully things get better. I, I intend on making things better for myself and other women who are going to be coming in the industry after me or with me. I don't know. Because we deserve so much more. And I feel like women are the most talented people in this country. I feel like we are the visionaries. We are the leaders. And listen to us, bro. What the shit. the feeling that there's someone else loving you better than I do if she only knew how you treat, treat me so bad but you love me so good man I can't seem to let you go